You guys, it's a big day today. Guess where we are? Registry guys. Where is it? Can we see the sign? Thank We're here know. to work on my registry. Ani's gonna help me. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. go. You guys, scanner. Nora has a scanner. So I never had a, a bridal shower and I never got to use the scanner. I'm so excited. She is about to go wild. Scan away. Okay, I'm gonna get the Sophie because all my mom friends talk about the Sophie. Yep. This is it, the giraffe. You definitely need it. Hold on, ready? This is my first scan. <laughs> Nora gone wild. Oh yeah. I'm so confused. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. I feel we like need you Dr. need some Browns. guidance. I watched your video, Ani. We need Dr. Brown's milk bottles. We do. Let's okay. go find them. Okay, we are in the Dr. Brown's section. I've mentioned before that I'm not a big fan of these wide neck ones, but I love the regular ones. These are amazing. Um, there's 45 Dr. Browns. Which one do I get? I, I think this is the one you have, right? It has like 700 uh, parts to it. Parts to it. That one's okay. I like the regular one instead. That one is the options one. This one I doesn't like, you guys. I, I don't like that one. See, I know all the things I shouldn't get. Yes. These. These are the best ones, you guys. I love these. Okay. I'll just scan away. Scan, Nora. Your second item. Nora, you need to scan the baby Brezza. It's a formula maker, you guys. It's gonna make your life. Formula? Maker. Scan. Oh. Scan. Don't ask questions, just scan. Scan. That's it. It's $179. Oh, this is, I've heard of this. It's the who's, Keurig machine of baby formula. Yes, who's gonna be nice enough to buy this for Nora? Got it? Yes. Okay, I've seen this. Sebastian has this. Um, we posted it on our Instagram and he looks super adorable. And it's so smart, you guys, because those carts are so disgusting. Yes, this is a shopping cart cover. And you know what, Nora? You can also use this at the park in those little bucket swings. That's what I do. So you guys, I was about to get register for this. It's like the like trash diaper can, genie. diaper tra trash can, and Ani gave me some good insight. So share with us, share your knowledge. This is actually small. Um, so sometimes the diapers can get stuck in there because it's like really insulated to make sure that the smell doesn't come out. And there's been times when it will rip and you have to like really physically get in there and get poopy diapers out. I actually went with just a large regular kitchen trash can, the one with a sensor. And I put all his pee diapers in there like normal, and then his poop ones I put in little poop bags and throw it in there. And because it's bigger, I only have to take the trash out once a week, compared to this, which is probably like every day or every two days. So the secret is to get a poop bag. Yes. Okay, let's find poop bags. Poop bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the poop bags. And it's good because you can uh, keep one in your diaper bag and one right Show it, by. What is it called? It's the Munchkin diaper bag dispenser. It's Arm and Hammer. Arm and Hammer odor eliminating bag. Okay. These are awesome. You also need this. Scan. <laughs> Don't forget to scan. Pink. Scan. Yes. Short girl problems. Do you need help? <laughs> what is that? You need pacifier wipes. Even when they're done with pacifiers, these are great to have in your bag because if they have a toy and they're teething and they want to put it in their mouth, you can wipe it off with the pacifier wipes. And it's great because these are a safe way to clean them with no chemicals. Nora, your baby needs a bathtub because you are going to be bathing the baby every night. I know that this one is really, really popular, um, but the reason why I'm not a fan of it is because it takes a really long time for it to dry because they are plush. Um, so you have to make sure you let it out to dry and you don't want something to get like moldy after a while. So I'm actually not a fan of that one. I like the simple. Um, plastic ones, I feel like they're a lot easier to use and there's a lot of options. Okay, so, how about this one? I like that one. It adjusts to fit your growing baby. Cool. Toys, toys, toys. Nora, scan, scan this whole wall. <laughs> hurry up, supermarket sweep. Hurry, hurry, scan. Nora's a very 
stylish mom and her house is very fabulous. So we can't have it be like all these weird colorful mats. She needs stylish mats. I love these skip hop ones. Look, you can make like a little chevron print. There's all the different prints that you can make and it looks like a little rug and it's still uh, PVC free and it's like, it doesn't have any weird chemicals in it and it's great because it's exactly- Gotta go with the palette. Gotta go with the palette. It's like those soft mats that they can play on and it's gonna look fabulous at the house. Scan, scan. Scan. Scan, scan. <laughs> Damn it, scanner. Got it. Got it. Here's Good. the Halo bassinet I was gonna register for, but nope. Ani said, "Don't do it, girl. Don't do it." You don't and really need it. that's super freaking expensive. Unless so. you are planning on having the baby sleep next to you and co-sleeping, and I know you're not. No. Oh, high chair. I love this one. Can I get this one? Yeah, it's really cute. Yay! The confusing world of car seats. I've been doing like non-stop research because this is really important. A friend of ours actually just got into a big car accident with her son in the car. So this is like really, really scary and it's not about being cute only. Uh, you just nope. need to be really safe. Car seat so. is only about being safe. It does not matter what color it is, the style, pattern. It's about safety only. Oh my god, there's so much. And Nora's already done her research, so she knows what she's looking for. So they don't have my car seat here. Um, I'm gonna get the Maxi Cossie one. Um, because aside from it being really safe, Ani approved, um, it fits into the stroller that I'm gonna get as well, because that's really important. So I'm not gonna register for my stroller, because I've already convinced my brother uh, that he's gonna buy me the stroller, um, and they don't have what I want here. I'm gonna get the Mima one. It's... So fab, stylish, and I'm super excited because I'm gonna get the all white one with a chevron print inside, or no, not chevron, but black and white print inside. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I'll show you guys a picture right now. I told Nora instead of getting a bassinet for her mom's house, she should get a pack and play that has one of these top ones so the baby can nap there, and then eventually, when she's older, she can play in the pack and play. She's gonna be a big girl in no time. Yay. Is there a specific brand I should get? I love the Four Moms one. Four Moms, okay. But we don't see it here. We're gonna add it online. Yay, Four Moms. Let's go. Scan, Nora, scan. <laughs> Just scan some random stuff. <laughs> okay, you guys, I love Skip Hop products. I actually got this entire set and it's really great changing station. And what I did was because it has zippers, I have um, travel wipes and a few diapers in it. And I leave this in the trunk of my car in case of an emergency, um, if I have a situation, because there's definitely been times when I've had to pull over and change him in the trunk. Um, I have an SUV so it opens all the way and I've had to change him in the trunk because he had a massive blowout and he got poop all over the place. Lifesaver. <laughs> you guys, I wasn't kidding when I said I love Skip Hop. I was about to have Nora register for this and I literally have one in my bag for Sebastian. <laughs> From earlier. You should be the brand ambassador for this company. I know, yeah. you guys, I love Skip Hot. Let's scan this. So I'm a big fan of having these mirrors with the car seat so you can see exactly what's happening while the baby's in there. If you are going to register for one, try to go with one that has soft sides. God forbid something happens and the mirror falls, you don't want it to bang the baby or hit the baby. At least if it has soft corners, it won't be as bad. I'm going to get the safety harness not for Nora's baby, but for Nora. <laughs> Funny so girl. She goes off on her own and I need to scrap her to the back. <laughs> I found something and I'm not gonna ask for Ani's approval. Lammy! Nora loves lambs, you guys. Yay! Scan it. So cute! It's gonna be my nursery theme too. Yay! You guys, I found the lammy aisle. It's so I'm cute. like literally gonna get all the lamb of them. pillow. Don't even look at those because Nora won't tell me what the baby name is. Which one is it? Honestly, I don't have a baby name yet. We're not going to pick a baby name until the baby's born and we see her. Um, <sighs> we're going to have a top three. And when we see her and we're like, you know, she's this or that. Because I How am I supposed to personalize things if I don't know you her could, name? You could do it after. I can't pick a name. I can't come into it until uh, I see her. It's just the one thing that I can't do. So you guys, a lot of people register for um, crib bumpers, those thick ones, they're not a good idea. Don't put any blankets inside the crib. Don't put stuffed animals inside the crib. There should be nothing inside the crib. Some people um, are a little 
more gearing towards the breathable mesh ones. My pediatrician actually recommended against these two. She's like, just don't put anything in there and that's the best way to do it because you just don't want to deal with SIDS and the less things that are in the bumper and the crib, the better. A wise person, Ani, once told me that you can't get enough of diapers. So register for a lot. <laughs> all the moms I know always talk about sleep sacks. I just don't know which one to get. So I need Ani's help. Okay. Here, I let's, love... let's have you take okay, over. Great. I actually really like the uh, ones that have the little swaddle thing. It's just easier than swaddling them at night. So when he was a uh, newborn, uh, I was swaddling him like this, but I don't like the fleece one because Sebastian has sensitive skin and it was making his skin itchy. So definitely go with the 100% cotton one. And then as he got older, I started to get the ones without the hands, uh, like this, so he can have his hands free and he still has his little sleeping blanket. And the plus side of this is that um, if you keep them in a sleep sack and they get used to it, apparently it's harder for them to climb out of their crib when they become a little bit older, which is always a plus. All right, Nora, all the essentials are done. Now it's the fun part. You get to scan all these cute clothes. Can we start with this adorable bikini? No, the baby's suit? being born in December, so let's start with onesies. Fine. <laughs> Warm ones. <laughs> This is gonna be the swimsuit for the baby. Yeah. <laughs> December when she's born. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many cute things. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna stay here for a hot minute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been really informative for me. I've learned a lot coming with Ani. So I hope you guys learned a lot because the registry was built from a mom. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Love you.